you know, I would hope that Dan, that both of us, if somebody came to us with sincere concerns, our concern is for the soul of the sheep. We want to work through to help them. But let's say we get offended. Let's say we're doing something that's wrong. Let's say we're because we're we're prone to these kind of things. Absolutely, right? I'm capable of anything. Right. That's why I need men around me to protect me from myself. That's what elders are for. Yes. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like they're, they're, when I've been collected around myself. Yes, men. We've co- the, w- what's happened is these are God ordained servants. You know, in an art, that's why church order is important. You know, all this is churchy language today, and we like to excise all churchy language. But our church order says we assist the elders in the shepherding of the congregation. The primary function of shepherding comes from the elders who are called to oversee two things about us, right? Our doctrine and our life. Yeah. And um, if those things are out of whack and we have compromised, they are called to discipline us. A totally foreign concept. Right. Really, in modern evangelical church, what we see is is once this thing runs roughshod over the church, and the abuses get to a level that cannot be recoverable, right? Then there's the fall of the leader, and the church disintegrates. Right. This is what happened to Mars Hill. Yep. Where's Mars Hill today? <clears throat> Anything that rises this quick around a central figure will fall that quick, right? Because the central the central figure should be Jesus. Right. The central figure should be Christ in the gospel. He's the head of the church. But in these models, it's easy for the man, the man, the CEO, to become the head.